Hey, with Tack Remote, I have an issue that I need to solve. I want to link up to PayPal to create a downloadable product right here. And all I get is this really ugly buy now button. What I'd rather do is link up this much cleaner looking purchase button that matches my overall design. I want to show you how you can go into PayPal and create a custom link and create your own button versus using their own default. And we're starting right now. So if we pull back the code for a second on this little design, what I have here is I've got an A link that I want to link up to PayPal. I have the button designed, but I don't have the link to PayPal. So let's head into paypal.com and create this button. A little extra cleanliness in the background. I'm going to close up this and there we go. So inside of PayPal, I'm going to pay and get paid. And in there, I'm going to head down to PayPal buttons. From there, I'm going to create a button. I'm going to create the buy now button since I don't have a shopping cart and I'm not donating or subscribing. I'm just buying this product. So here, what I'm going to do is I'll just create my test product. Come on, PayPal. You can do it. I'm going to choose buy now and I'll cite item name test product. And matching with this as I closed Chrome for a second, it's $19.99. So I'm going to create the price of $19.99. Now this would be a downloadable product. So if I had a real product, what I would do is head down. I don't need to save the button at all. And number three is that in theory, if I had this actual product to download, I would take customers to this URL when they finish checkout to download this PDF. I don't have that right now, so I'll just leave it blank. And down at the very bottom, I'm gonna say create button for this product. Now by default, PayPal gives you one button. For your website, it's just gonna say buy now and take this code. I don't like the design of this. So what you can also use is head over to this email link right here. We can use this same email link inside our design. So I'm gonna say select code and copy it and head back to my design. What I'm gonna do here is in this href where it links to PayPal, I'm gonna drop in this web link, save it, and now what I get is the best of both worlds. If I minimize or hide my code, and if I refresh this page, now the purchase will go directly to PayPal. Instead of having that annoying yellow PayPal button, I can say purchase and right off the bat, 1999, except the cookies, that sounds fine. We'll go right to PayPal. I can check it out as a guest, which I can then do. And I'll enter my email later on for this one. But right away, I can link a custom button to my design using the email portion inside of the PayPal button. 